Samsung's Galaxy Ring, the unexpected health wearable. Who's the target audience? Samsung recently gave a sneak peek of its latest innovation, the Galaxy Ring health wearable, at its unpacked event. However, with no details on the release date or price, it left us intrigued about Samsung's future plans for this health and wellness gadget. So, who exactly is the Galaxy Ring designed for? In Samsung's perspective, the Galaxy Ring is a part of a larger ecosystem that contributes data to the Samsung Health app. As Hon Pak, Samsung's VP and head of the digital health team for the mobile business, puts it, the Ring is a step towards multi-device engagement. The Galaxy Ring is designed to track various health parameters like sleep, nutrition, activity, and stress. It's an ideal choice for those who prefer a less intrusive wearable than a watch, but still wish to monitor their health. Techponential's president and lead analyst, Avi Greengart, suggests that a ring can be less obtrusive than a watch, and the finger might be a better location for tracking certain health metrics. Samsung anticipates a diverse consumer base, with some preferring both a ring and a watch, while others choosing one over the other. The sleek minimalist design of the Galaxy Ring, resembling a solid metal groom's ring, might also attract those who value aesthetics. Anshel Sag, principal analyst at More Insights and Strategy, finds the Galaxy Ring potentially perfect, especially for those already using a Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Sag believes that fitness rings won't replace smartwatches due to their display and sensor capabilities. Instead, they'll complement them by providing health data when watches are not in use, such as during overnight charging. The Galaxy Ring's seamless integration with other health data on Samsung phones, without the need for a new app, is another plus. While some tech enthusiasts crave sharper, brighter smartwatch displays, others prefer devices that operate unobtrusively. The Galaxy Ring could cater to those who wish to track their health data without the distraction of another mini phone gadget. Brian Mayer, VP of Devices Research at International Data Corporation, suggests that the appeal of such rings lies not in being cheaper than smartwatches, but in being smaller and more discreet, ideal for use cases like sleep tracking. The Galaxy Ring might also appeal to a niche audience who wish to use Samsung's proprietary health app, but own an iPhone, and hence can't connect to the latest Samsung wearables and watches. As of now, Samsung has not disclosed the pricing or the specific health features of the Galaxy Ring compared to other health wearables. Predicting the potential appeal and unique selling points of Samsung's Galaxy Ring in the current market is challenging. However, we can speculate on its prospective user base. The wearable tech market already features health tracking rings like Aura and Monavo's Eevee, which have gained traction among celebrities and athletes but haven't yet achieved widespread popularity among the general public. Samsung's competition in this space is stiff, but the tech giant has the advantage of scale and an established ecosystem of devices. As Julie Ask, VP and Principal Analyst at Forrester, pointed out to CNET, Samsung could potentially offer the hardware at a lower price point than Aura, which now includes a subscription for additional insights. Like all gadgets, the price will significantly influence the Galaxy Ring's adoption rate. Consumers often need convincing to invest in pricier products, especially in a relatively new category. Comparing a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 priced at $300 with a $400 Apple Watch 9 or a $450 Garmin Venue 2 is straightforward. However, comparing these with the Aura Ring, which also starts at $300, is less direct. The price point Samsung sets for the Galaxy Ring will be crucial. If it falls within the $100 to $200 range, tech enthusiasts might be more inclined to give it a try, even if it ends up unused after a few months. If it's priced over $300, consumers will need to understand its value before making a purchase. The real test will come when consumers see the Galaxy Ring in action. Beyond price and tech specifications, Samsung will need to demonstrate that the Galaxy Ring is user-friendly. Most people rely on an engagement strategy that employs various motivators like gamification, competition, coaching, and support. Samsung has confirmed that its Samsung Health app will introduce a new feature called Booster Cards, providing insights into your health readings. For instance, if your sleep score is low, a card might indicate that it's due to restlessness. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with our latest content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from us.
Remember, your support helps us create more content for you. Until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.